Hey everybody, and welcome to XCOM Realistic War, a overhaul mod for Long War. Not a lot of people have played this mod. I'm talking about like 200 downloads total in the two years this has been out. And there is a reason for that. The mod page is entirely in Russian. I don't speak Russian, unfortunately, but you know what? Google Translate does. <laughs> so I, ha I have gone to Google Translate, I have translated it all. I kind of understand it, it's not a perfect translation, but it's good enough that I got it working. So for this mod, we have redesigned abilities and classes and weapons and armor and all kinds of crazy things. And everything's a lot more lethal. As we can see here with the damage curve, Long War, uh, if I get that out of here, Long War was apparently at a 1, <laughs> Realistic War starts off at a 6. That is entirely true. My test run, a sectoid critted one of my soldiers for 42 damage. Okay, so we're just going to start a new game. Uh, I'm going to leave it on Classic. It was recommended to try Impossible, but I'm not a masochist. So I'm going to leave it on Classic. I think Classic's probably hard enough. We're going to leave both DLCs on because I think they're fun. And the mod page does describe which ones of these we should toggle on, which is Red Fog, uh, Commander's Choice, Friendly Skies, Miracle Workers, Perfect Information, Recon, Weird Legion, uh, let's see, Absolutely Critical, I think that's everything. I'm going to add aiming angles because I like flanking, and I'm going to add dynamic war. Hopefully that works. I don't actually know. Other than that, I think that's what we want to go with. We're not doing Iron Man mode because that's just that's just a recipe for disaster. If, if you try and do Iron Man with mods, it, it's not going to end well. I'd have to like mainly back up my save. Just might as well just leave it off. Um, I think everything else is fine. Yeah, yeah, I think that's fine. Go ahead and go back. Go back, and we hit start. I think everything's good to go. Watch out, random civilians. If you touch it in 20 years, you'll become zombies for some reason. I don't really understand why the elders were like, yeah, yeah, let's uh, let's fill the plant with zombies that we can't control. They did, though. Bad decision, <laughs> as it turns out. Really bad decision. Everyone got good. There's a lot of newspapers down there in the corner. So, like, an entire newspaper stand fell over down there. Hello, Commander. In light of the recent extraterrestrial incursion, this Council of Nations has convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project. You have been chosen to lead this initiative to oversee our first and last line of defense. Your efforts will have considerable influence on this planet's future. We urge you to keep that in mind as you proceed. Good luck, Commander. There we go. XCOM Enemy Within. Colon. Long War. Colon. <laughs> Realistic War. <laughs> Lots of colons. I have looked through this list, and I think what I'm going to go with is uh, Nigeria number one. Yeah, Nigeria number one here. All soldiers receive plus one mobility. That seems amazing. I, I really 
really highly value mobility and there's not really any way you could get mobility well I say that I don't actually know perhaps <laughs> maybe mobility is the easiest thing to get in this mod I don't know we're, we're just gonna go with mobility though Having plus one, I know for the first mission, plus Listen one up. mobility is very helpful. Interior for the next operation. We need to get flanks on aliens. We picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there. I'm, a, a I'm assuming any hit by an alien is probably instant death. In my uh, my test run, the aliens were really bad with their shots. They missed like three eighties in a row. This is central. You are free to engage so, all of course, this will go much worse. Don't take any chances. Much, much worse. So, we start off with a lot of guys. <laughs> we start off with, uh, what, eight of them? Yeah, eight guys. They all have a ton of health, but uh, none of that will survive a 42, unfortunately. We do start with AP grenades on some guys. Some guys have med kits. Some guys have flashbangs. But everyone starts with run and gun. This will be instrumental in our victory. And it looks like we've already leveled up. Everyone, everyone starts with a level up, apparently. Not that I can uh, assign that yet. Is everyone created equal? I don't actually know. 74? No, they are not. Their aim is different. Well, that one guy just has 74. Everyone else has 70. Why? Why is... Why are you so good? The one person with a plus four aim. Okay, so shock absorber armor damage armor damage received from enemies within four tiles is reduced by 33%. Steadfast, so we won't panic. Oh, you have a laser sight. Okay, that's why. Does anyone else have anything weird? You have ceramic plating plus one hit point. Yeah, that'll help. You don't have anything. You don't have anything. Nope. Nope. I get. I'm guessing people who got shafted on. Uh, Grenades and stuff probably have so yeah they have two grenades med kits okay so I was kind of hoping for a more closed off map this is very open especially with this giant pit what we really have to do for this way. first mission at least we have to find the aliens I'm gonna try and uh, try and conga line behind you move one hey, guy here if this triggers aliens then you know. Okay, no aliens yet. Heading out. Solid In order to successfully Follow not die, because there are 12, I think, Solid somewhere copy. around there. It's, from my test, it was two paws of three Heading and out. a pod of four, I believe. So I definitely won't kill them all in the same turn because that is what? Oh, that's 10, I guess, if I can count. And just throw my... Can I do Alt-O in this game? I can, sweet. Alt-O, best, best button. Can't do that in XCOM 2, I don't think. Hmm. Not quite there to the corner yet. Let, let's move you up to this cover. There they are. There's a pot four. Kind of difficult. They're way down there. I, even my best soldier cannot flank that guy. Ideally, we want to be able to flank. <laughs> lots and lots of flanks. We can try pulling back here. Hmm. Really did not expect them to make a dash way over there. Because there are at least two more pods. I do not want to trigger. I could throw some grenades. Okay, I can't throw any grenades. <laughs> AP grenades aren't going to help. How about the flashbang? How? Flashbang can go kind of far. I could probably move him up. Maybe. He'd have to move to the couch. He can't get to the wall. Hmm. My test run was way, way easier. It was an office building, and I just ran, ran and ran. That, that's. <laughs> past is a run of gun. Ran and ran. All the aliens on turn one. Because if we are, like, we can't even really see these guys. We can actually probably take up defensive positions and just try and overwatch them all. Because they don't have cover coming towards us. We can't see any of them. I do have that mod on. Yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, I think we'll try and overwatch okay. them and maybe pull you back. I'm not sure where we'll pull you back to. Uh, you're just short of that. 
I really don't want to go through this door. I can try and... Uh, don't hunker. If I hunker, they're just going to all take shots. I can move you back here to the open. And I could just... Uh, hmm. How, how many rookies do I want to sacrifice is the question. You can be seen here. That is an issue. Maybe I should put you behind this truck. It's a bit too late now. There's nowhere to hunt. Um, mm, there's like no cover. This this was a mistake. I should not have gone this way. Granted, I thought they would be here, and I'd poke out and you know, lay into them. Did not happen. Did not happen at all. I really don't want to trigger another pod. Because the, the issue I'm going to run into, with whatever I have left here, is definitely enough to kill the other pod. Definitely. Like, if they're right here, then I'll just you know, run a gun and probably kill most of them. And yeah, yeah, because I get nice sight lines here. The issue is I'd run and gun and trigger the third pod. And then that's when we have issues. That's when the issues start arising. I could... I think i got to move in. I'm gonna move you into here, and I'm gonna pray that is trigger. Oh my god, they were right there! Don't worry, we'll be fine. What's the worst I could have? 37. That's so bad. You can kill him, though. This is 12. We can kill him, but then you'll probably die. We can't see anyone down there, so we can just, like. Yeah, we can't move up to there. And we can overwatch the door. You're in the very bad. Let's, let's take the two very bad guys and have them okay. overwatch the door so that no one can come up the ramp. I'm thinking about hunkering you because you're in a very bad situation. I'm going to move both of these guys here. Got to make sure this is covered. What do we have left? Three or four guys. You can move up to here. Like, very aggressively push. But you can't do anything from here, is the issue. You could hunker, or you could uh, throw a grenade. I believe psionics doesn't seem to do much for the aliens. From my experience, the psionics only have about 30% chance to hit. And there's the other pod. Okay. Someone's taking a reaction shot. It was an awful reaction shot. He was taking it though. This is this is a tactical genius at work right now. Don't worry about it. I'm hoping. I kind of want to just Overwatch. Keep them pinned, is my hope. My hope, my dream. Keep these guys pinned, and run up next turn. I move you in through this back window. We will probably take casualties. I didn't even take, like, I know I had someone get critted for 42 in my test run, but I deliberately wanted to see how much damage an enemy did. He was the last one alive, and I just skipped turn like three times in a row for him to run up. Um, hmm. How much defense? 30 defense. That's probably with the cover, though. You do have the ceramic plating. All right, I'd rather have, you know, not five guys shooting at me. Four is probably a little more reasonable. We gotta get a kill here. There we go. You may want to instruct your men to exercise restraint when using Yes, yeah, so use restraint. Let While them die instead. Don't worry, aliens, I'll be making ice aliens in 20 years. Just something to consider. 30%? And it's good. I'm taking fire. I'm gonna eat 30. It's all gonna be 30% across the board. I'm under That's. Fire. Well, uh, you're using mine merge. That's a perfect grenade. Oh no, there's another guy there. Still only 30%. I'm fire. He shot the truck. Forklift thing. It's not a forklift, it's like an excavator. I don't know where this drone's going. Nowhere, apparently. Beautiful tin. 
Their weapons appear to self-destruct when the operator Okay, dies. so no one we is dead, and that is good. That could be salvaged for our Who is mine? You're... Programs. Are you doing the mine blast? Who is the Jimmy Neutron of this group? Hmm... You can't quite reach. You also can't quite reach, because I used a lot of those running guns to try and get overwatches up. Only one person can reach, and it's you. If he's sitting right here, I may be able to move you up. I can move you, like, right here. Move you there, and then move you to here. I think that's what we're going to do. Let us run and gun. Dash up to here. This isn't a guaranteed hit, I don't think. 98%. It's 100% if you're right next to him. 98! There we go. Kill the other... No, it only... Oh, that did not hurt him, like, at all. <laughs> Very little hurt. I was kind of hoping uh, that would just cause him to instantly die. So we'll come here. This will be another flank. 100%. 21 crits. There we go. We could flash. Can we flash both of them? We may be able to... Yeah, I think we'll be able to flash both of them if we move up. Which wouldn't be the worst idea. We can probably move here, peek down. We may be able to throw a grenade. They could be overwatching, though. Yeah, yeah, they're overwatching. <laughs> uh, just survive! Definitely did not survive. Definitely very dead. Don't worry, everyone's got steadfast. It's fine. Someone needs to grenade that little guy. They're in, they're in pretty good cover down there. Are you just... Yeah, you're just completely dead. I did have a med kit. What? Why can I... S oh, we did... Oh, the wall blew up. That's why I could see him now. Being flanked from way over there, though, I think. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I can't use run a gun with either of them. We can work on going around. It's all very tricky. Very, very tricky. Run a gun won't really help here. I mean, we probably would have an okay shot from up here. We can just AP grenade too. I I'm just worried about being shot by that guy, but I could have you move to here, an AP grenade, and then have you flashbang. Actually, you could also AP grenade. We could just AP grenade all the live long day. On my way. Is there another? Oh, there's another person with a reaction shot. Two of them. Thankfully, uh, they were really bad at this. Why were they so bad? That first guy had a great shot. All right, so there's a there's just a cluster of guys down here. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna use the AP grenade down here instead. Gotta move it a little bit. Let's see. I'll take 85 kills, please. Damage fall. Off? Damage fall off, but that's two kills. We're all about kills right now. I want to keep my guys nice and not dead. Let's see, I could run and gun, and I probably get shot in the back from there. You do have an AP grenade, but you're not gonna have the reach, I don't think. You could run and gun to here and try and keep them in place with an Overwatch. I think a flashbang is probably the best bet here. Move up to this hardcover. We will flash both. Yep, yeah, now I'll get both. Right there. There we go. Disoriented. I don't know how much that helps. I probably should start moving in this way. Roger that. We know we have a guy back there. 
Gonna, we're gonna keep an Overwatch here. Where do we want you? Two guys left. I think we move up and we go Overwatch. Move up to this hardcover. Overwatch, uh, no, actually, move up to this hardcover. And then you can run and gun up to this hardcover right here. And that should take care of both of them with Overwatches. Hopefully. Because otherwise, this guy could go off to the left and maybe hide. If I were to run up to here. Go ahead, Overwatch. You are also going to run and gun up to this hardcover. I hear lots of noises. Yeah, you only have 29% chance, so we're going to overwatch from here. Okay. Who's taking the shot? Oh, you're taking a shot. Take the shot. You missed the shot. I'll get him next time. Next time. Use a mind merge. Yeah, there's a lot of high cover in this map. Makes it a little difficult. A little bit. Just, he's moving. We got a reaction shot. It's another miss. It is like a minus 20% chance to hit with Overwatch. But they're both... Oh, he's not even in cover. 1%. There was a chance. I've rolled ones before. Oh, uh, yep, yep. Someone from a... <laughs> oh, no. Not dead, though. Not dead. That's the important part. Let's see. Anyone's Overwatch? No one... Your running gun is good. Your running gun is actually really good. We have to take the big risks. Go big or go home. The war was not won by sitting, covering, and crying. 84% chance to end that man. Well, you brought this upon yourself. <laughs> not everything's a win. I should probably collect this. Who is closest? No one can really, really easily do this. Flashbang. What would Flashbang do here? Just blind both of them? I think it just blind them both. You actually have 70%. Oh, you can just run up and. You could just run up and end this man. Moving. Probably the preferable thing. Making sure everyone up here is dead. And we can move. We do have red fog. Let's move you to this hardcover. Okay, so here, here's my thought process. One, we need to kill this guy. So let's take someone in the back. You could just I'm run up and move. do it. You're too far away to really help. And him. There we go. So, thought process here. You're probably fine. Uh, how many turns? No idea. It's a mystery. Oh, well. So sorry, uh, Lou. <laughs> and I gotta make it. We have three guys left. In order to ensure this guy doesn't get flanked, because this sector we could run, like... I don't know if he can run all the way here. That may be a dash. We want to make sure the sectoid is flanked or that he won't move into flank. Like he won't, if I move a guy here, he's not gonna move here. Granted that would, yeah, that wouldn't actually put him into flank. He would definitely move right here and get a shot. He can't move here because this counts as flank for both of them. So he's not gonna flank himself. But right here would be a great place for that sectoid to move to try and flank me. So if I run you up to here, you unfortunately are too far back. You're just gonna have to start running. And I think if I move here, no one can move here. Affirmative. Moving out. That is my strategy for the sectoid. Two sectoids. Similarly, they're just gonna kind of... Is he gonna move? He gonna, he's flanking himself. What are these dudes doing? They know bad times are coming, so they're running. 23% <laughs> mind fray. It hit, but... I had nine armor? Nine armor. Blue, blue, uh, Lou bleeds out eventually. We can maybe, we can maybe do that. Let, let's, uh, he's 
Gotta reload. Reload! Ready to rock. Anyone else close? You're pretty close. You can move here and on, take out the guy in the back. 40% or 70, take the 70. You missed the 70, you hate to see it. You absolutely hate to see it. Who's got a med kit? Does anyone have a med kit? The guy who just shot... No, I think the dead guy's got the med kit. So, uh, old, old Lou Albano's not gonna make it. Maybe. Depends on these shots. That's a good sign that you won't die, Lou. It's a good sign. Only issue is we can't... Reloading took the entire turn. Uh, don't... I forgot. <laughs> it takes the entire turn. It's XCOM 2, you can reload and do things. We're gonna, we're gonna flash this guy. One day. Come on. There we go. Can't flash him. We can overwatch him so he's stuck in that corner, though. Mm, there's no real good cover. There's good cover here, and you will see him. I'm rolling. It's good enough cover because you are elevated. The elevation bonus will help a lot. We could just do 60 to kill. May do 60 to kill. Because you're not going to help. I mean, you can move down and look intimidating. I wonder if that sector was just going to try and fire on someone or not. I'm going to try and take the fire. Just see if Lou doesn't die. Oh, and it's good. Good work out there, Strike. Congratulations, Lou. Didn't die. Teams are standing Acceptable by levels orders. of loss. We can begin it's like researching the newly one eight. Immediately. That's that's good enough. Didn't have to go very far Commander into the base. To the research labs. Commander to the research labs. Welcome to XCOM HQ, Commander. I'm Central Officer Bradford. My role in this project is twofold: providing tactical support for our field operations and keeping you briefed on the current situation. My efforts should allow you to focus on the bigger issues at hand. Speaking of which, we have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. I'll let you get to it. Thank you, Bradford. Enjoy your sweater. Commander to the research labs. Commander Cherish it for while you have it. Hey, look at all these level ups. Gravely wounded? Three days? Three days is gravely? You, you only took one damage. <laughs> How's that greatly wounded? See, everyone's fatigued one day. Uh, we'll save level ups for uh, in a minute. Unloaded, and the research team is waiting your orders. Materials. We'll get six sectoids drones. The order um, 13 mil. We got three mil from somewhere. All right. So what do we got? We can't. I can't move around with the WSAD keys. <laughs> I want to look at the stuff. Yeah, I guess. I guess we're not gonna be moving around on this menu. Oh, it, it, you gotta move your mouse. Uh, so used to the WSAD of uh, XCOM 2. Okay, well, let's go to research. Hello, Commander. My name is Dr. Farlan. I oversee the research labs. This is where all of XCOM's research and development takes place. We have already begun analyzing the artifacts from our first up, encounter with the like aliens. At a 45 degree angle Based all on day our preliminary in order to use findings, the we believe we can use them to develop some new equipment for our soldiers. With your approval, we will begin research immediately. Question is what to research? What do we got? We got xenobiology, weaponry, and materials. Oh, it's gonna take a while. And the materials needs four layer for alloys. Commander to engineering. Commander to engineering. Let's go with the uh, weapons are probably the most important Commander, thing, right? I realize our troops have to put their own survival first, but every alien we use explosives against is one. I'm gonna be using explosives, Alan. Uh, Don't you Commander, worry. I was wondering when you'd be stopping by. Welcome to engineering. Anything they can dream up in the research labs. We can build it here. Making a lot of like. Speaking of which, hard Dr. drives. Valen what what are they making? New schematics. With a ton of boxes or something. We will begin fabrication. 
All right, what do we got? We got 500 bucks. We can buy a sawed-off shotgun, a motion tracker, shiv satellite, and we can rebuild the shiv. I wonder how good shivs are. Long war rebounds, shivs are godly. Hmm. We'll we'll hold off on the moment. I I I want that shotgun. I don't know. Right now, uh, we're like we one hit everything so maybe well, not the shotgun at the moment room to grow up here but if we really want to expand our facilities we're going to have to start you gotta link things together in this game right unfortunately pair bay thermo generator foundry more it's going to cost plus one for every two uplinks to touching so we probably want all the uplinks over here that's definitely gotta be power because of steam which is an access lift? A hundred bucks, then five hundred bucks every day, and then it costs another thirty to excavate over there. We do need power pretty soon, though. Commander to the situation. Room. Yeah, yeah. Let's Commander go ahead and build this. Crews on their way to begin construction. I'll send word when the new facility Situation room. What do we got? Launch satellite. Every member of the council is going to want satellite coverage, so we should plan our deployments carefully. We already have a satellite over Nigeria. Where do we want to set? I, we probably want satellites on our starting continent. That's probably what we want. Do we have any extra satellites? Satellite uplink facilities at maximum. No, and my Additional uplinks uplink are at max. So let's maybe let's buy another satellite uplink. That's going to take like forever to build, right? Let's see. Yes. What? XCOM, just give me scroll bars. And ah, whatever, begin, begin construction. 21 days, yeah, it'll take a while. And then we have to build a satellite. How much is a satellite to build? Uh, I can't even afford it, it's 200 bucks. We'll have to wait until a mission goes through. Situation room. Let's see, that's all the bonuses we have. Finances, $700 a month. Then we lose 180 for our four planes and Sky Ranger. Minus 25 for the uplink. Total five hundred bucks a month. Ray market. Several members of the council things. have expressed an interest in acquiring some of the artifacts we've recovered. However, I think I'll hold on to everything. Choosing what items we release. This is a bad place for that. <laughs> yeah. Put it down here. Put the text yet. box down here so I can read. No requests. Okay. Do you have mission control? We should check out the barracks. Memorial. Murdoch did not make it. Death from sectoid. Let's see, high soldiers. How much is a soldier? It's twenty-five. We're already at fifty soldiers. That's a lot of soldiers. A lot of soldiers. They're all gonna be great or fatigued. Wait, wait, <laughs> wait. Greatly, you're greatly wounded for three. You're the guy who was unconscious. <laughs> you got hit for like a thirty. He's only he's only unconscious. That's why he's gravely wounded. But that's only three days. That's no time at all. It's like a quick power nap. We're we're in fallout rules. You take a nap, you're back to full health instantly. Everyone's at two thirty nine. Oh, these guys are. You're two oh four, one sixty. Assume these guys were getting kills. Go ahead and level some of these guys up. One mission, two kills. Our snipers specialize in dealing massive amounts of damage from afar. Okay, so but we need sniper. Training, they're vulnerable we can swap between situations. all the classes. The heavy weapons specialist provides a crucial plus service to the squad. Plus with 10. With the rocket launcher in tow. There's a plus 15 there, there for a second. Yeah, this one's plus 15. Just like it sounds, the support class provides that intangible edge our squads need. They make everyone better. He's gonna, like, the be on this forever. <laughs> They're the first ones into a hmm. fight, and the last ones out. Lightning reflexes is probably pretty good, considering where we are right now. Squad sight would be for snipers. We have suppression, so gunners and rocketeers. Medics? We want medics. Medics actually have the ability to bring people back to life mid-mission. I think they're the only class that could do that, but they can bring people back to life. Not if they're dead, I don't think. I think if they're unconscious, like bleeding out, they can come back. 
I don't think if they're dead. Grenadier, probably pretty important. Um, infantrymen just being able to shoot twice is pretty nice. Absorption fields. I have no idea what that one is. That's all, that's all of them. Okay, so how many guys do we got to level up? We have seven. Yeah, seven because this eighth guy died. Well, to show the importance of medkits, you get to be the medkit. <laughs> you get to be medkit man. Field medic. Sure you want that. Yes, confirm. You are now the field medic for soldiers grants one for use of the medkit permission. Also, allows restorative miss items to be used three times per battle instead of one. <laughs> just give me the give me the beautiful beautiful scroll bar so I can just scroll. I assume I can't get anything else right now, yeah. Paramedic. This unit may use a make kit without spending an action. Free action cannot be used on the same turn as reloading with lock and load. Do I even, do I even get lock and load on you? I have no idea. Get sprinter. Plus four mobility. You're definitely going to be able to revive skill with that. Let's see. As everyone's got really the same stats, so it really doesn't matter who we choose for what. Just make you a grenadier. Congratulations, you get two grenades, and you throw them a little farther. Just a little bit. Good old Jameson here. Uh, we don't need more medkit, guys. You look kind of kind of beefy. Let's give you the absorption fields. I don't know what this does. Ah, salt blast. Okay. He gets the good old shotgun. Steadfast, I guess. A steadfast must be like the armor gives them steadfast. Close. I want the close combat specialist. That seems like it's pretty good. In my experience. You, um. Hmm. What do you look like? It kind of looks like. Sniper Man, maybe. Sniper Man or Rocket Man? Just gotta give him a hat and he's Sniper Man. Give him glasses and he's Rocket Man. Give me Rocket Man. Congratulations, Rocket Man. Can I give you glasses? Is that in this game? That's hair. I can change your face. That's probably not right. I don't know if there's glasses. Actually, I, yeah, yeah, there we go. Hmm. The hat screams sniper, but the glasses scream rockets. Is there is there glasses without the hat? I mean, there's power armor. That doesn't really help. <laughs> it's just this hat. It's a pretty good hat. You know what? You 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 uh you get that hat. Congratulations. Blue hat it is. Three more. See, we'll go ahead and um, Luli Mock Moak Luli Moak. Uh, I'm gonna put you as Lightning Reflexes, lady. Congratulations, that is a scout. Two more. I don't actually know how many total uh, classes there are. How many? Two, four, six, eight, eight plants. So I would have had everyone if I didn't let uh let that guy die. Unfortunate. Uh, you gotta be light him up. Get the nice blue costume on. I can't even begin to pronounce this. Uh, Alu Wasanmi? Uh, I have no idea. I think I added in a, a name mod. <laughs> so that that's probably from that. And you gotta be the sniper because everyone else is taken up. I mean, I guess I could do... Uh, No, we, we need Sniper early on, so they're not trash. Snipers start trash in most games. Sniper, Infantry, Scout, Rocketeer, Assault, Engineer, and Medic. Medic is out of action for a little while. Set to Mission Control. And scan for some activity. Well, everyone's ready for duty. What are the, uh, oh, that's just random little gloves off in the distance. I, I thought that was, you know, something spooky hanging above the, the earth there. There's all of our missile bases, I guess. Or airplane bases. 
Hey, contact. Scramble interceptors. I don't know what to go with. Let let's go let's go balanced. Friendly skies theoretically makes it easier to hit. So aggressive should always hit. That that's my guess. We have eyes on the bandit. To be honest, I'd love XCOM if I didn't have to do this. Six seconds. Come on, one more shot. Well, there was a, there was a chance. Okay. Send someone else out there. Down for eight days. By far the worst part of XCOM is... And he's gone. Great. <laughs> worst part of XCOM is this thing. Yep. Yeah. Maybe I'll just land somewhere. Excavation complete. Um, I don't really care about that. I care about the access lift. Commander, we're detecting a new contact. Oh, that one's large. Much I can't take that one down. Anything we've previously encountered. I recommend My scramble best, best equipped, equipped scramblers. They're going to take down a, law, a small one. Commander, Abduction sites. Warming. For but a ton Abductions of money. Progress are marked on the hollow globe. All right, South Africa, don't you worry, I'm coming to help. We're gonna bring all the rookies. Ideally, I wanna have like two two sets of rookies. So if someone gets injured and they're out for 100 years, which may not happen in this mod, but they do, you know, a little help. And the sni sniper, you can level up again, really? Why can you already level up again? You're so good. This sniper's so good at her job. She leveled up from just standing around. Low profile, dead eye, and lone wolf. Hmm. These have big implications for like later on. I don't think we do this one. You, sniper lady, you're not going to be in combat. So Lone Wolf is pretty good because you're not going to be near anyone, probably. Our Dead Eye, being able to actually hit flying enemies would be so nice. To have someone that can reliably hit flying enemies. But it's only for flying enemies. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. Flying enemies are the bane of my existence. Alright, so we'll start from left. Anyone else have upgrades? No, I think everyone's not up or leveled up yet. Let's see about these loadouts. Tech armor and tech vest. Plus one mobility, plus two HP. Three mobility, one... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone's getting a tech vest. <laughs> no one's surviving a shot, so everyone's getting the tech vest. Assault Carbine, 6 Accuracy, 1 Mobility. 7 to 11 damage. I'm not sure if that's enough damage. 7 to 11, 0% critical chance. And 9 to 15. Hmm. Has any sector we've had more than 10 health? I don't think so. We'll, we'll have a couple people run SMGs and like ultralight. That way they can they can sprint to their heart's desire. Four aim, stores health, neutralize acid, high cap mags. That's weight, ceramic plating also weight, but one more hit point. Those hit points really aren't useful for anything. One of the engineers, fashion remains from aliens, gives steadfast. Everyone starts with steadfast though, so that's more or less useless. Let's remove that. You now have 15 mobility. You can go all over the world. That's what we're gonna have for you. Let's see, for the next couple guys, aka all of them, we'll probably have three high mobility units. And then a couple uh, regular units, so you're, you guys are all going to have flashbangs. 
Got to have some crazy mobility. I'm hoping for lots of flanks. Lots of flanks. Lots of flashing people. There we go. Three high mobility. And then... You know what? Let's have actually four high mobility. Only difference is you get to carry a... Uh, AP grenade. Instead of flashes. Lots of high mobility here. Then these three guys are going to be lower mobility, but they're going to have better weapons. Assault rifles, probably. 915 damage. And can be steadied. So yeah, we'll do that. Tech vests. No sleeves in this game. And you guys are going to go in with... Uh... No, yeah. Let's, let's do one of each. Is that plus four aim for you? I think it's plus four aim. Yeah, plus four aim for the primary. So you're up to 92 aim. 92 aim, then plus 15 for flying. That's got to be pretty good. You don't really need that, but you can take a smoke. I think that's probably a good idea. Okay, so here is our loadout. Four fast, or fast flyers. I guess I should probably give them the attack vest so they move a little faster. These guys get to stick with their, uh, their random carbines. Who cares? Assault rifles. Yeah, everyone's got assault rifles instead of the carbine. Carbine's a little shorter. In case we find something that needs, it's a roadway corridor with numerous vehicles. That should be great for the sniper. Put you on top of a uh, nice little truck somewhere, we'll be good to go. We have visual on the mission. Begin the assaults.